Good morning, stock traders, and welcome back to Stock Traders Talk Radio. I'm your host, Stock Sumo. Thanks for joining us on this wonderful Wednesday. Today is October 24th, 2012. Let's get ready to rock as we look through the markets. So open up your charts, turn on those scanners, and fire up your trading accounts. Joining us on today's program is Haas. Stock Sumo, my man. Glad to be here on another quality hump day in the over-the-counter market. What's going on, man? Yeah, another hump day. Love Wednesdays. You know, we get to the middle of the week. We're just starting to pick up some momentum in the week. Yesterday was a bloody day in the markets. Looks like we're going to get a little relief rally today. Gonna should be interesting. Yeah, definitely, man. Hopefully, we it's saw, uh, a lot greener than yesterday was. Yeah, we saw some consolidations in some of those medical marijuana plays that we've been chatting up for a while. So we'll be continuing to keep an eye on those. I think the decision date for the legislation is November second. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but I believe. I remember reading somewhere on some boards that that was the decision date for the legislation regarding the medical marijuana. That sounds about right to me. So we should still see some excitement heading into that date, and uh, we'll see how these some of these plays run. You know, run their course. That C L N P Charlie Larry Nancy Papa. That was a nice one yesterday. Which one was that? That C L N P. It was a sub penny. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, clean path. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hanging around that double zero three to double zero four area for quite a while. Saw some chatter on the boards from uh, a couple of quality people in the eye of saying it was going to bust. So it's uh, it's good to see that it finally did. And I don't think it was related to news, really, uh, from what I'm looking at here. But uh, you definitely called that one on that breakout yesterday. That was a hottie. Oh, that other nice one that we caught on the breakout. Man, I tell you what, we make a wicked tag team. You know, I'm good at catching things on the scanner, reading charts, and you're an animal when it comes to breaking down DD, going through filings, and that sort of thing. Yesterday, we caught that BLSP, Boy, Larry, Sally, Papa. What a momentum play that turned out to be. Yeah, that thing, uh, that thing really broke out. <laughs> And uh, early on in the day, they put out the AK related to uh, a couple of alternative energy, I think waste of uh, waste to some sort of fuel projects. Uh, just checking out the AK here because I kind of want to remind myself. Um, yeah, two projects related to uh, Orbit Energy Incorporated, and basically Blue Sphere is acquiring 100% of Orbit Energy Incorporated's right title and interest in these waste to energy projects. So it'll be interesting to get some more details on that in the future here, but real solid AK out for, for Blue Sphere. Uh, lots of people were jumping on that uh, even later in the day. I think it closed near the high of day, if I remember correctly, too. Yeah, I think you're right there. Anytime so. you see the running girl on the video player, that usually means good things. I'll tell you what, Siffy is the man when it comes to working the back end and all the technical stuff that we got going on to run this radio show. Mm -hmm. And he threw up that running chick yesterday on that BLSP, and sure enough, she turned into a, being a great runner. Anytime you see that chick up there, uh, I would just go all in. Nice, man. Yeah, I never doubt Siffy's running chick, that's for sure. But uh, it looks like uh, they did put out some news this morning, actually, too, related to these two projects. Let's just uh, read this first paragraph here. It gives a couple of numbers. Blue Sphere Corp, a company in the clean tech and waste energy sectors, as a project integrator, is pleased to announce that it has signed a definitive project agreement to impl implement two waste energy projects, the 5.2 megawatt plant in North Carolina and 3.2 megawatt plant in Rhode Island. The total revenue 
from these projects is projected at $150 million over the next 15 years. So that's an average of $10 million a year. So looks like some quality projects there uh, for Blue Sphere Corp for sure. Good stuff. So that one might be another uh, even more hot today. Definitely. Anytime you see some big volume, big momentum, stock closing at or near the high of day, definitely want to keep it on watch for a possible multi-day runner. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. You got Yo, anything that CLNP? Yeah, I can talk about a couple stocks if we uh, sure. were on yesterday's stuff. Uh, one that I'll talk about first here, MDIN. And before I talk about it, just be a little bit wary. VNDM was on the ask for a little while yesterday around that double zero two area. Uh, didn't hammer it below that area. And he ended up moving later in the day uh, as MDIN broke out a little bit. North Star Global Business Services, this one closed at 0023 yesterday. And the reason why I'm bringing it up, they put out some press post market yesterday. Uh, and that on October 12th, uh, some news that we went over before, that just a tier change and getting over the counter current and whatnot. So just checking out the, this press release from yesterday, North Star Global Business Services, Inc. announced today that the company has taken a tremendous leap forward in reintroducing its nationally recognized product line into traditional and online retail by 2013. Uh, just mentioning some stores down here, putting its projects, products on the shelves in Walmart, Walgreens, and many others. Projected sales for the first year are above 5 million units, but exact order amounts will be announced in the coming weeks. So getting their products in some big retail score, stores, excuse me. Uh, they have various uh, health-related products, uh, looks like some types of nutraceuticals. The three most popular products in North Star's arsenal are the Snorins, help people sleep, obviously, pain ins, uh, get rid of pain, and good night sleep and FDA approved sleep aid. So, they got a few different products going in some pretty big stores there. And again, that press was put out post market yesterday. Market hasn't really had a chance to react to it, but it did push through uh, that 002 area. Looks like it touched 0026 briefly yesterday, even, and then closed out the 002324 spread. Uh, so, one to keep an eye on out of the gates this morning. MDIN. Uh, let's check out a couple others here. Uh, PTSH. We didn't really talk about this one a whole lot the last couple of days, but it's uh, it's been beast, and they've been putting out some filings and whatnot, uh, tier change, supplemental info, and back on October nineteenth, two thousand twelve, which was when it really started heating up, uh, is when they finalized the merger with United Waste. Uh, so new merger, pumping out a bunch of filings, and this one's been, had a couple of hot days. So keep an eye on that one; it's pretty volatile. And definitely some trading opportunities there. One that we talked about quite a while ago, but I want to bring it up because uh, just watching the level two throughout the last couple of trading days, spend some fatty bids, and I'm expecting that we're going to see some sort of big news on this one in the pretty near future. Uh, again, we mentioned this one, I think around 10 cents when the chatter started picking up a little bit, and they had a... Uh, they didn't really have any news out at that time, really. But anyways, I uh, got a tip from some quality folks, and it's been pretty much beasting ever since, uh, as we can see, uh, jumping up to this 25 level for about the last week or so, uh, even two weeks. And it's kind of been hanging pretty tight there uh, with increasing bid support. And then yesterday, it uh, looks like it sort of broke out a little bit at the end of the day yesterday. So definitely want to keep an eye on. This one is on full news watch. Uh, Freestone Resources, Inc. So put that one on your radars as well. Higher price stock, but uh, could have some upside if uh, some quality news come out. Um, hmm, another one that sort of kind of maybe possibly broke out a little bit again yesterday, UBRG, Universal Bioenergy, Inc. This one closed at 009 yesterday. Talked about this one quite a bit. It's kind of been fluctuating between 005 and a penny. As of late, but uh, they put out news today related to 
actually yesterday midday and then today they just kind of touched on it uh they got the chill removed on their stock so obviously more brokers allowing people to trade the stock uh, same company that has about doing about 80 million in revenues right now and basically they're just working on ways to consolidate their operations to become profitable versus having 80 million in revenues and not being profitable which is unfathomable so hopefully they can do that at some point in the near future and it could have a major major run if they improve those margins because they're working with some big oil gas companies that's for sure uh, anyways that's what I got there See what sort of news we got for this morning. Um, we'll look at FOAT. See if I mentioned this one last week. Marijuana related stock. And the reason why I want to talk about the news on this one is related to California Prop 37, Girl Life Inc., an innovative leader in high end horticulture supply today, announced that it has voted yes on California Proposition 37, the California Right to No Genetically Engineered Food Act, which is designed to label foods that are genetically engineered or contain genetically modified organisms or GMOs. So key vote there for Girl Life Inc. vote, kind of in a hot stock. SMKG, Smart Card Marketing Systems, closed at one cent yesterday. News out this morning. Smart Card Marketing Systems, Inc. releases additional details of its Solus Bay. Smart Card Marketing Systems released today a correction from an earlier press release and additional information about its recently signed deal between its Turkish distributor Solus Bay and Fenerbahce Sports, whatever that is, club in Istanbul. Last week's press release mistakenly underreported Fenerbahce's fan base. It is the largest sports club in Turkey with over 25 million fans and supporters, not the 5 million that was stated last week. Thank you for that correction, Smart Card Marketing Systems. What are some other potentially hot? Oh, I'll talk about a, uh, a bio stock that might come into play here in the near future. Discovery Laboratories Incorporated, DSCO. Last like month, month and a half, the stock has been taking a little dip here. As we can see, it looks like it's uh, gapping down pretty significantly pre-market too. So let's just talk about this briefly. Um, closed at $2.73 yesterday. And check out the news this morning from an hour ago. Discovery Laboratories Incorporated, a specialty biotechnology company dedicated to advancing a new standard in respiratory critical care. Today reports a commercial update on Surfaxin and Effectare. Uh, the company has initiated commercial launch activities for both products by training and deploying its newly formed commercial and medical affairs organizations with the goal of securing hospital formulary acceptance for Surfaxin, expected to be commercially available in the second quarter of 2013, and adoption of Effectair with an anticipated product availability in December 2012. Let's see what they got here. This company continues to make progress in its launch readiness efforts. Discover, Discovery Labs has uh, blah, 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 a bunch of needing, or meetings, qualified scientists. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Looks like they've, uh, Discovery Labs has proactively communicated its findings regarding this analytical method related to surfaxin um, and plans to submit updated product specifications to the FDA based on the anticipated time required to improve the methods, submit updated specifications, wave confirmation to the FDA, uh, 
plan is successful, the availability of search facts in set court in 2013. Yeah, you already said that. I guess the reason why I wanted to bring some more than anything, just go on to www.pedufadate.com. P-D-U-F-A date.com, P-D-U-F-A date.com. Just click on the FDA calendar. And Discovery Labs has an FDA ad committee meeting on, oh, never mind. That's Dynavax. I'm sorry. My, uh, my head is uh, a little bit foggy this morning. Dvax. Dvax. It's a stock I wanted to talk about. Anyways, that was uh, Discovery Labs news. Just ignore everything else that I was talking about related to it. Dynavax Technologies Corp. DVAX. $4.17 is what it closed at yesterday. Uh, looks like we got a form for a couple of them coming out. I'm going to check these briefly just to see if we got any insider loading. Now we have insiders disposing of shares at a price of four seventy two. Let's see. Yeah, he's still got a pretty good chunk there. I have to look into it to see uh, if it's related to anything else. But just checking out PadoofDate.com, we have... Dynavax Technologies Corp. This is on November 14th, 2012 is the date coming up for the ADCOM meeting for Heplisav, Hepatitis B Adult Vaccine. Dynavax Technologies, highly involved in the vaccines. Let's see if we can uh, find a press release here, get a link to their website and check out their pipeline real quick. No, Paragon, you're mean. Yeah, anything crazy going on on the scanner while I pull up this website, Sumo? Yeah, why don't we touch upon the scanner? There's a lot of green hitting the scanner today. We'll start at the top of the list and we'll work our way down. We got SEH, that's Spartac, up 58% this morning. Last traded at $8.15. That's a gain of 3 bucks on the day. Traded 366,000 shares so far pre market. We got RFMD, RF Micro Development. It's up 13.23% today on 200,000 shares traded last at $4.46. It's a gain of 53 cents here pre market. We got RENN, RENREN, up. 10.5% last at 386. That's a gain of 37 cents. Just under 50,000 shares traded there. Kips, K I P S, Kips Bay Medical. It's up 32.2%. Last at a buck 56. A gain of 38 cents on the day. Just over 10,000 shares traded here pre market. 33 trades on Kips. E F U T. That's Eddie Frank under Tango. E Future Information, it's up 46 cents. That's a gain of 11%. Last traded at $4.66. So that's what we got right there on the pre market scanner. Uh, cool, man. Yeah, I'm just looking at the, uh, the DVAX pipeline here. Heplosav is the only one they got in phase three, the rest are early stage phase one. So. But just want to keep an eye on as that November date approaches. All right, let's see if I got any other good press releases to talk about. Now nah, the rest of the press is pretty boring for the most part. Let's check out the breakout boards. There's going to be a couple of stocks that I want to talk about from here. PLFM. Platforms, wireless. Closed at double zero three eight yesterday, putting out tons of filings, uh, just related to initial company information disclosure, attorney letter with respect to current information, and all within the last couple of days. So make sure you go check out the company information disclosure statements there. Uh, very likely that some press will follow that information, and I'm not sure if. Uh, Zardy, you mentioned that on the show on Monday or not, but uh, this one's kind of been slowly increasing chatter. There were some emails going around 
that the company was going to start putting out updates and they finally started putting out some filings and stuff. So this one's kind of been a beast, uh, up quite a bit already. Uh, pretty volatile stock as far as moving pretty quickly with any sort of buying volume. So keep that in mind as you're trading it. Keep an eye out for Newswatch related to uh, other company information, what they're working on, blah, blah. That was PLFM, Platforms Wireless. Um, one that will probably be coming back into play at some point in the near future here, and uh, I actually put my eyes back on it yesterday, GRDO, Guard Dog, Inc., and the reason why I bring this one up is because yesterday on 10-23, it is the 24th today, right? I'm getting my head mixed up with the date. Yeah, it's the 24th today. Yesterday, 10-23, Guard Dog Inc. provides a shareholder update. And basically what's happened there is complete change in management. Uh, then doing some share structure uh, changes, basically putting a bunch of shares in the treasury, retiring a bunch of shares. Uh, that were returned to the company from their, their rescinding the deal with their 15 seconds of fame. So that's no longer their business focus. Uh, CEO stating he apologizes uh, for not communicating over the last couple of months, blah, blah, while they're going through their restructuring. And uh, they're committed to providing frequent updates moving forward. So hand right there, there's going to be much news coming. Uh, with these filings completed, management's focus is now turned to bringing the company back to current information and focusing on the company's new business model as a provider of disaster preparedness and relief solutions. And they also popped out a new website, uh, I believe, last week as well, or early this week or over the weekend at some point in recent past. Uh, so they're making some changes there, and there's probably going to be uh, some news flow starting there. So just put your eyes on it. Triple zero two triple zero three Lado stock. Let's see what else is hot. Um hmm. I don't know. I uh, I don't really have anything else for the morning, man. Any hot stocks you want to talk about? Um, huh. don't really have anything off the top of my head. I thought we pretty much covered everything from yesterday that was hot. Uh, Teffer, we could do a little quick update on that. TFER, that thing has been very hot this week. It's trading some pre-market volume here today. Uh, had a nice up day yesterday, consolidated a little bit there, and it's trading at 97 cents right now pre-market. Um, I think that one's pretty much ran its course, though. Uh, probably going to get a little bit toppy when it's you know trading up over a buck, you know made such a big move uh, trading as low as 35 cents last week, so up two threefold over a week. Nice runner there. B R N D trading some pre market volume. Those two are the only ones hitting a penny scanner so far here pre market. We got four minutes till the bell. Uh, that B R N D was a nice move. I posted it on our board um, when it was trading around. Uh, 65 cents so that's trading at 80 cents nice little gainer there from when I posted it on our message board be sure to stop by our board there on investors hub that stock traders talk radio look it up stop by follow us post your plays there tag hitting the scanner pre-market that's that big promo play um, I think that one's gonna start to get a little toppy as well not sure how long those guys are gonna stay on it but it's made a nice move. I'm sure it's going to be running into some resistance here soon enough, though. What do you mean, Sumo? They were calling for dollar on that one, weren't they? Yeah, don't get caught <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid. You know, you can't can't believe everything that these touters talk about. That's why you should always follow us here at STT Radio. We keep our head cool. And we keep it real with all our listeners. We don't sugarcoat things. We just tell it how it is. And if you don't like it, go listen to the next pumper. Because we're not pumpers over here. <laughs> yeah, I pump my stocks all the time. Just not on radio. Remember when they had uh, the sneakers that were pumps? Yeah. 
I think those they have, were like, skates that are pumps now these days even. Those were cool, man. I, I think I was like in like fifth grade. I had some Reebok pumps, man. I thought I was the coolest kid at school when I had those things. Wow. I uh, I don't think I ever bought a pair of those. That's you never bought a pair? What about LA gear? Did you ever represent with those? Ooh, I don't think so. British Knights? You ever have a pair of those? I didn't. <laughs> oh, see, I'm a sneaker whore, man. I love a nice set of cool kicks. And I used to be all about them cool kicks back in the day, and I, and I still am. So did the uh, did the pumps make you jump higher? Oh yeah, that and the Jordans, man. I used to I used to get an extra like six inches. <laughs> an extra six inches. <laughs> I could dunk if I had an extra six inches, man. I should go buy a pair. Uh, hey, uh, I, one stock I'll uh, mention just to get off the topic of sneakers briefly before the market opens is MetaSwipe Inc. MWIP. We've mentioned this one related to the medical marijuana sector a few times. Uh, kind of broke out again yesterday, forming a huge bowl since back in August, uh, or actually April, excuse me. A bowl on the chart. I call it a bowl. That's my technical term. And it's uh, it's been doing pretty well over the course of the last month or so. So another one to keep your eye on. This one also uh, does pretty well with the low volume buying. So if any real buying comes in, it could make a significant move. Anyways, that's what I got. Back to uh, important things like sneakers. No, I never got a pair, but uh, I got a couple of buddies who have tried skates with the pump thing or whatever. And I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to do for uh, skates and hockey, but uh, apparently they liked it briefly. You know, it definitely gives you some more ankle support, gives you a nice snug fit. So I think it'd be good for skating around on the ice, you know, give you less uh, chance for twisting an ankle. Yeah, my ankles are like shredded. I literally have craters in my ankles there's like a and indentation in my ankle versus a bone and we're off mdin getting some hits out of the gate 0026 by 0027 up 13 percent only 600,000 shares traded so far WIP, 0041 by 0042 to start the day, up 2.4%. Tag, 2.7 in the green, 19.01 by 19.02 spread. 800,000 shares traded there. Big promo play. Taffer, not looking too shabby out of the gates. About 5% in the green so far. MetaSafe One Technologies, MFTH, rising up the scanner, 0035 by 0037, trading 2.6 million shares. Hmm. Got some news. Check that out briefly. Whoops. Update to Meta One Safe or Meta Safe One Technology Corp shareholders due diligence complete prior to closing seven million dollar perpetual license sale. Interesting news. Your BLSP one point one cent by one point two cents up twenty two point four percent on the day five hundred twenty eight thousand shares traded. Checking out 
the medical marijuana place here. See if any of them are bouncing back. Doesn't look like it yet. Wow, uh, MDIN up to 5.7 million shares traded now. 0024 by 0029, no, 0027 by 0029 spread. 0028 by 0029 spread. I trade is 0027, so she's moving. Some market makers playing with a little bit. Let's check out where the counter scanners here. And FTH definitely at the top. What's going on with ATAR? A T A R. Is that one on promo? I'm guessing it is. I think I've seen that one on promo in the past. I could be wrong now. Yeah, I saw some promos on that one myself. Uh, Avatar Ventures looks like uh, quite a few mark makers on five cent and above. Five one by five five spread. Four hundred fifty thousand shares traded up ten percent so far. Hmm. What else we got here? Like MBIN might pull back, touched uh, 0028. This is the last trade, but got some market makers stacking at 0028 here. BLSP 1.2 by 1.3 cents. Uh, apparently touching 1.4 cents right now, so that could be a. Uh, It's a shadow alpha trade market maker on 1.3 cents on my level two or something. 1.3 million shares traded so far. One point three by one point four spread now. Like uh, AUC, AUCI is not really moving, but a couple of the uh, toxic mark makers that we're seeing around the 0015 area are now moving up a little bit. Closed yesterday at 0013, spread right now 0015 by 0018. So, once had some decent moves in the past, did uh, put out press last week. Related to the reverse merger process, they've uh, it's been known that they're going through it for quite a while now. And it looks like they put out more press this morning related to another merger. Auctions International Inc. signs binding letter of intent to merge with Range More Productions Corporation. So good stuff. Uh, no, last week, never mind, they put out uh, tons of financial reports and filings to get them current. Up to date. 
And then they put out the binding letter of intent for the merger this morning. So getting a little bit of action so far. Don't like that spread. Needs more bid support, but uh, moving up. going on this weekend sucks Sumo. any big plans oh one week from uh the wedding man big uh big week down countdown yeah i suppose you'll be uh getting ready <laughs> MFTH 0038 by 0039 up to 7 million in volume. Looking good. Yeah, some nice hits coming through there. Good bid spark coming into you. She'll roll through the fours here. There they go, 0043 up. 1.5 million shares on the bid at 004. Double four one by double four three spread now. Double four two by double four three now. See how easily Bert moves. MFTH up to 0045 now, up to 10 million in volume. Nice catch on the scanner there this morning. BLSP holding up there, 012 by 013.
046 by 0048. Tougher hitting the dollar mark junior. Bada boom, F M F T H broke a half a penny, 005 by 0053. Once again, the scanner never lies. <laughs> Ooh, she's getting ready to break out here. Vert's on the offer at 0053, and you got two nice bidders at 005. Well, not that she hasn't already broken out, but, you know, what did we catch it at, 0035 this morning? That's a nice catch one, man. Heard uh, some chatter on this one across the boards. Finally broke out here. And there's some wicked market maker stuff. This one's trading thin. Looking good. She's hopping. 0055 by 006 right now. Last trade, 0053. Vert is controlling the ask. Yeah. At least he's inching up, though. He's letting it breathe. Let's see. Just keep an eye on Vert. You know, if you start to see him undercut and go low offer, might think about running into a little resistance. I tell you what, the, the longer we've been doing this radio show, the more that we pick up on each other and, and the more comfortable we, f we feel. We're like a family over here. <laughs> Don't get sentimental on me this morning, too. I can't handle it. Oh, it's all love, baby. It's all love. <laughs> oh, good stuff. MFTH, a beast. Definitely uh, one of, like, maybe three hot plays on the market right now, if that's just getting slammed here. Well, we're always able to hone in on the hotties, that's for sure. Looking like it's running into a little bit of resistance there. We got another play that we just brought up on the level two. Multicorp International Inc. That's ticker symbol MCIC, Michael Charlie, India Charlie. It's up 43% this morning. Hmm. Not a ton of volume, but they put out some news. Go check that out. And sick. Mickick. Multicorp. Multicorp International enters into a strategic alliance agreement with Canadian Construction Company. Suppressed from this morning, so. Just an FYI. New North Construction Limited. Handle the development of building projects slated to begin in 2013 in Dawson Creek. Whew. 
Interesting. Hmm. That one looks thin if it ever gets in volume. FTH taking a little dip. BLSP still hanging at that 1.2 by 1.3 spread. Getting a little bit of action on MIMV, MIMV Inc. Hearing a little bit of chatter. They were, uh, I think they're the ones who put out the press related to their deal with Microsoft. So let's get in some action. Touch 42, which is what it opened at this morning, gapped a little bit, pulled back. Now it's trying to uh, break that 40 mark again here. Moving up though, 146,000 shares trade, getting some volume. MFTH pulling back. Rapid fire. Oh, yeah, look at that. Rapid fire. Marketing sitting here with nice bid support at 0027. I like that machine gun. <laughs> Check out the level two out here. Low volume, quiet action. I feel like with uh, rapid fire, it's calm before the storm, and the storm's either going one way or the other, <laughs> and pretty soon. I hear that. Looks like MFTH is pulled back to 0045 by 0046. Vert on the ask at 0046. GCEI stock that I saw creeping up a little bit yesterday. Looks like it's continuing its creep. Up to 6.9 cents this morning, up 11.3% today. 51,000 shares trade. 6.9 cents not not the most attractive spread in the world 5.1 by 6.9 cents but low of the day 6.5 high of the day 7 so someone's buying up here believe that one was potentially on a Minamar email that I received they were talking about some news coming there so Minamar play keep that in the back here Ed It looks like MFTH is trying to bounce at this 0045. Another bidder just showed up at 45. I want to see Vert get off that offer. And then you got ATDF at 0047 for a pretty decent sized block. 995,000 shares there. So we got a little resistance here at the mid to high 004s. Oh, we just broke it. Nice. Nice big buys in there. 
Vert moved up to 005. Let's see what he wants to do with this. I wouldn't be surprised if Vert's short. Could be trying to hold it back. Hold it back, reload. Eyes come in short a little bit more. Just with some of the market maker action I've seen, but it could also be because buys are coming in too quick for my uh, computer speed, too. <laughs> Piece of crap. Apparently, Big Bake just posted in the chat room some new rules pertaining to short selling. So check that out. I'm going to take some time after the show to break through that, run down that new policy adapted by the SEC and see exactly what they're talking about there. Kudos, Big Big. I know he's uh, big on those topic. They did a great show uh, a while back on that stuff when we were having all the DTC issues. Not that those DTC issues are not still here, but let's see here. Delivery should be made on the sale. All right, Vert is inching back up. 0051 by 0054 now. Oh, nice. Interesting. Thanks, Big Big. 0051 by 0054 spread once again. Back in the 005s. Looks like it's going to keep bouncing for a little while here. About a million shares bid support on 005. Yeah, nice bid support at four, uh, four seven also. So decent bids popping up. Let's see if we can chew through the resistance here at the mid 005s. And then the next resistance is going to be that high of day, which is at 006. Haas man getting a little slow for us we're getting close to that 10 o'clock hour what do you say we call it a day I'm right there with you man MFTH is the hot play of the morning so far I don't see anything else crazy popping up on my screens well as long as we do our part and find the best best winner out there for our listeners I think we did a good job definitely all right have a good day folks we will be back again tomorrow morning Thanks for tuning in. So long.